Hey everybody, SciGuy29 coming at you here. Uh, quick video today. Um, <laughs> hopefully the power stays on. We've actually had a thunderstorm come through for the first time in what seems like forever. We haven't had more than two tenths of an inch of rain uh, since like June 15th, somewhere in there. So it's been a long time since we've had much. My, my front yard is so dead that it's orange. Uh, so definitely needed. Hopefully the, the lights stay on and this can continue. So couple things I want to touch on today. Uh, a couple of books. Uh, one that I think I've referenced before in one of my other videos, and that is this book called We Played the Game. And uh, this is a book that the subtitle is Memories of Baseball's Greatest Generation. And it's got stories and, and uh, information about uh, guys who played during the late 40s into the 50s. And some you've heard of, some you haven't. And it's broken up into really small chunks. And I belong to a Facebook group that uh, it was actually a vintage breaks group and uh, one of the people on there said they had a book called uh, the glory of their times uh, when this is and you can see by the cover of the book that uh, this is a little different era of baseball uh, but has great great stories uh, and, and they just put it up for whoever uh, they wanted to send it to someone because they wanted to share it with somebody so I was the first one to respond, so I just got this today. Looking forward to sharing it, uh, some of the information with you maybe down the road, but definitely looking forward to reading it uh, as we move forward. Um, lots of names in here that you've heard of. Um, names such as uh, Rube Marquard, uh, Sam Crawford, uh, Fred Snodgrass, Harry Hooper, and then there's a lot of others that you probably haven't heard of. Um, I know I certainly haven't, but uh, Davy Jones, uh, George Gibson, uh, Al Birdwell. Uh, so there's there's lots of different stories in here, and uh, they include pictures. The guy said uh, in the preface that he, he drove over 75,000 miles uh, to put this book together. And he put this book together, I believe, in the late 60s. I looked at that earlier, now I forget. Uh, 66 is when it was first published. So um, looking forward to this, so thank you. Uh, to, uh, you'll know who you are if you watch this, uh, sent this to me. So might be something I offer up to someone that watches that might want to read this as well. A uh, couple of pickups I've had lately. Um, can't find anything to buy around here, but found a few things uh, online. Uh, some 80s cards. And the first one is an 83 Sparky Anderson. Okay, this is a PSA 9. Uh, dollar bid, uh, four ninety nine shipping. So for five ninety nine, Hall of Fame card, PSA nine, uh, looks pretty nice. You can kind of see there, and it says that this is the BioPrint black on white. So obviously there's another variation of that uh, out there. But nice Sparky Anderson in man. Uh, the next one is a eighty five Dave Winfield. Uh, unfortunately, he's with the Yankees and not with my Twins. Uh, this is a PSA 8, I believe. This was another $1 purchase. This was even less than the Sparky. This was $3.95 shipping. So uh, can't go wrong with that. Uh, of course, on the back, we have a little bit of a glare there. But just, yeah, I couldn't pass that up. Just randomly stumbled upon it. And the last one is a 77 George Brett. It's only got a 5. Uh, but as so many other people say, you know, buy the card, not the grade. And it's it's not great. Uh, centering's off a little bit but not bad, left to right. Um, this was one of the very first cards. This was the first year that I truly jumped into uh, cards. George Brett also has a soft spot in my heart, uh, being a Royal. Um, having the pleasure to meet him a couple times uh, when we were down in Kansas City to see the quiz play. And uh, it was always a tough guy to be around because everyone wanted, wanted to talk to him, wanted to see him, wanted his autograph. Uh, I only got it twice I believe I got it once in an autograph book and once in a on a card that has since been lost I think it's at my brother's house but I can't swear to that uh, he he won't admit to it so um, just a couple things I wanted to share that I picked up uh, you know collect what you enjoy I'm not a huge PSA guy I do enjoy their stuff that displays nice uh, especially the older cards I like it because of uh, the authenticity purposes in another video, I'll probably go over some of my PSA vintage stuff 
not that the Brett wouldn't be considered vintage anymore, but um, a lot more uh, stuff from the 50s and 60s uh, that I'll share with you at another time. So hope you're having a great day. Uh, collect what you love, love what you collect. Stay safe. See you later.